Hi, it's Dr. Scott Watson with a finale tutorial on working with staff styles. So what are staff styles? Staff styles are the way finale handles taking normal notation and converting it into some kind of a shorthand or different graphic notation that's sometimes common in uh, different types of music. The staff styles that we'll be looking at in this tutorial are ones that you'd find in a lot of lead sheets like slash notation or rhythmic notation, one and two bar repeats, and X note heads. Let's get started. I've set up a special finale document to demonstrate how to apply staff styles. In our first example with slash notation, the premise is that we have a lead sheet where the introduction um, just has generic chords, but we're not indicating specific rhythm, not telling the player how to play on the piano or guitar those chords. So we want slash notation, which is very generic. So in the upper example, you can see what we want it to look like. In the lower example, you can see how we would start before we would apply the slash notation. I'm going to go ahead and choose the staff tool, and I'm going to select these seven beats at the opening of our second example, and then go to the staff menu and choose apply staff style to the score and parts. From this menu, we're going to choose slash notation. Notice the shortcut S that's there in parentheses. If I would have known that, I could have typed the S ahead of time and not even had to go into that menu. So we have the slash notation now, but let me just show you the shortcut. So I'm going to undo the slash notation. We're back to having just the rest that we had before. I'll select those seven beats and I'm just going to type S. Right. So the shortcut is good to know because it saves you a lot of time. Okay, our second example of staff styles that you might use in a lead sheet is rhythmic notation. So the premise here is that we do want to tell the player a specific rhythm to play, but we're not telling them how to voice the chords. Above, you can see what the before looks like. I'm going to take below these chords, select them, and go to Staff Menu, Apply Staff Styles to Score and Parts, and choose Rhythmic Notation. The shortcut is R. I could have just pressed R. Now we actually have something that looks a little bit generic in terms of what notes, but it's giving a specific rhythm that we want the player to play. That's rhythmic notation. All right, our third staff style is one or two bar repeats. Now, if you want the finale file to play correctly, you are going to have to copy and paste. So I'm going to go ahead and copy. I'm doing Command C and then Command V to paste here, here, and here. So what I'm saying is I want to have that same thing every measure for four measures. But the staff style that makes it simple to look at is we select all three of these measures that repeat. We go to staff menu, apply staff style to score and parts, and we're going to choose the one bar repeat. The shortcut is O. And that symbol is what players recognize repeat the previous measure, and we'll do that for three measures. Now in the second example, what if you have a two measure pattern that you want to repeat again and again? So again, so that it would play correctly, I am going to actually copy and paste those two measures here. And then I'm going to copy and paste those two measures here. Now what I'm going to do is choose the staff style for these two measure groups. One and two is the original, then three and four, five and six, we're going to apply staff style to square and parts. Um, the two bar repeat. So now we get what players recognize repeat the previous two measures, but we do it twice. All right, and our last example of a staff style that you might see in a lead sheet would be X note heads, where you're saying, here's the rhythm I want. So for instance, if I apply the staff style, use the staff tool, apply the staff style to the second example, you can see the difference between the original and what it looks like with the X note heads. All right, so X note heads are right here. The shortcut is G for that one. And then we get the X note head, something like you might see for drum fills, for instance, in a drum part. Well, I hope this tutorial helps you as you apply staff styles in lead sheets or other finale documents.